So, landed in the lab today is um, this that just came in the post. Um, it's called uh, Onion Omega. It's a Kickstarter project which I backed um, a few months ago now, and it's just arrived. So this is a uh, Internet of Things kind of device. Um, it's got a processor on it running uh, Linux, RAM, GPIO, and a whole cloud-based backend system to make it all nice and easy to integrate with apps and websites and stuff. So I was kind of interested to pick it up and have a play with it. So we're just going to do a quick unboxing. Um, I'll plug it into my computer and make sure it all works. Um, so inside we've got a uh, separate box, expansion dock, mini dock. So we can this open. We've got the expansion dock. We've got the mini dock. Um, we have the Amiga itself. Um, so this is the actual um, brains. Pretty small. So this is a pretty decent spec, really. Um, it's running Linux, uh, 400 megahertz processor, 64 meg of RAM, um, 16 meg of flash. It's got Wi-Fi and 18 uh, general-purpose I/O ports. So hopefully, with a bit of tinkering, I might be able to make something useful out of this. Okay, next bit up is the mini dock. This was a, uh, I think this was a bonus item, I think. Um, I think I actually only bought the um, the main expansion dock and the Omega, and this was a some kind of stretch goal thing and bonus something. So it's basically, could be just a very, very small dock. So yeah, we've got the USB power switch. So I'm guessing this would... And uh, next up, we have the main dock itself. So obviously, gives, this gives you a breakout of all the um, the I/O ports, um, rather than this, which is just for accessing the USB, and um, which gives you access to the serial port if you don't have Wi-Fi. So that's the expansion dock. To whack this in here. So the first thing we need to do with this is uh, get it connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, so I've opted to do this through the serial cable. So it just means installing some uh, serial drivers, um, USB to serial drivers. Just install those on Windows, plug it in, and we should be good to go. Right, I've just got this all connected up now, switching on. Blah, 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 booting up. And we're booted. Okay, there's no login because it's on the serial port. Um, so we just want Wi-Fi set up. It's 
going for what I find that works. Do the password. Right, that's the Onion Omega connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, so now all I need to do is head off to their website and figure out how to actually write some software for it, um, which uh, will most likely take a lot longer than what uh, setting it up did. Um, but I've got a few ideas on things to uh, I could do with this. Um, clocks seem to be in fashion at the moment, so I wonder whether I might make an interesting clock with it. Um, but anyway, hopefully it won't end up on my shelf gathering dust and I'll actually do something with it. Right, uh, if you want any information on this, just head out over to the Omega website, which is uh, onion.io. Um, so you can head over there and uh, get all the latest info on it. Right, I hope you found that interesting, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you later.